Good morning everyone. Let's start Mathematics Grade 6, Chapter 3, Number Play. Learning Objectives. After this session, we will be able to analyze pretty polydromic number patterns, explain the magic number of Caprica, evaluate clock and calendar numbers. Pretty polydromic patterns. A polydrome is a word, phrase, number or other sequence of characters that treats the same forward and backward. With the numbers, examples of the polydromic numbers are 121, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So, 12,032, 321. This is an example of polydromic number. Let us see an example. Write polydrome using 1, 2, 3. Here, 121 is an example of polyndromic number, which 330 and 222. These are the examples. Similarly, we can write 323 and 232. These are the also examples of the polyndromic numbers using 1, 2, 3. Let us see the concept of reverse and add of polyndromes to their base. For example, let us start with this two digit number. Let us add the reverse of the number to it. Let us stop once we get the polyndrome. Or else we will repeat the step until we keep getting this polyndrome number. Let us take here example 34. Reverse of 34 is 43. Let us add 34 and 43. We are getting the number as a 77. Is 77 as a polyndrome? Yes, therefore we can call so. Let us take the number 29. What is the reverse of 29? The reverse of 29 is 92. What we will get upon addition of 92 to 21? We will get 121. Is this a polyndrome? Yes, 121 is this polyndrome. Let us take another example 48. What is the reverse of 48? 84. What we will get? Addition of 48 and this 84, we will get the number as a 132. Is 132 is a polyndrome? No, because the reverse of 132 is 231. So, this is not a polyndrome. Let us add this 231 to this 132. What we will get? Addition of will get the 231 to 132 is 363. Is 363 is a polyndrome? Yes. Therefore, we can stop here. Let us take this fourth example, 76. What is the reverse of 76? 67. Upon addition of 67 and 1, uh, 76 will get 143. What is the reverse of 143? 341. So, upon addition of 143, 341 will get this, the polyndrome which is 484. Let us see the magic number of Capricorn. D.R. Kaprika was mathematics teacher in a government school in Devalali, Maharashtra. He liked playing math with numbers very much and found many beautiful patterns in numbers that were previously unknown. In 1949, he discovered a fascinating and a magical phenomena when playing with the four-digit numbers. Let us see what is this. The magic number of Kaprika. Let us take four-digit number. Four digits should be of different forms. See, let us take four digit number six three eight two. Make the largest number from these digits. Call it as a A. So A is equal to eight thousand six hundred thirty two. Make the smallest number from these digits. Call it as a B. So therefore, here B is equal to two thousand three sixty eight. Subtract B from A. We will call it as a C. Therefore, C is equal to 8632 minus 2368. The, the difference is 6264. What happens if we continue doing this? Now, let us take 6284 as a number. Then, what is the largest number we can make with this one? Is 6642. What is the smallest number we can make? 2468. What is the difference between these two numbers? 
the number difference is 4173. Now, let us take this largest number from these three years. 7641 is A and the smallest number is B, 1467. The difference is C is 6174. What we observed the 6174? This is this magic number. We will keep on repeating this number is 6174 will come. So we will always reach the magic number 6174. The number 6175 is now known as this Capricor constant. Let us see clock and calendar numbers. See timing with the different patterns and the 12 hour clock. For example, 7. 7. So here 7 hours 7 minutes. This is a, a polytonic number. Finding other dates, the repeating dates. Here if we consider 2, 0, 1, 2. If we addition of this date and the month, it is leading to this a year 2012. This is special program. Finding the polytonic dates. 0, 9, 0, 2. What is this? 0, 2 is a Reverse way 20 and the 09 reverse way is 90. So this is a, a kind of polytonic date. Reusing calendar with the number a non leap year calendar. A non leap year calendar repeats every 11 years. A leap year calendar repeats every 6 years. This is this which we will be using in our daily life numbers. Let us see exercise. Question 1 Pratiba uses the digits 4, 7, 3, and 2. And it makes the smallest and largest four digit numbers. 2347 and 7432 is this. Between these two numbers, the difference between the two numbers is 5085. The sum of these two numbers is 9779. Let us take any four digits like how Pratibha has chosen randomly. And we need to find the difference between the largest and smallest number that is greater than 5085. And we need to find the difference between the largest and smallest number that is less than 5085. And the sum of the largest and smallest number that is greater than 9779. The sum of largest and smallest number that is less than 9779. Let us see that take the digits 8, 9, 1 and 2. So that for largest number is 9821, the smallest number with this two digits is 1289, so the difference is 8532. Obviously 8532 is greater than 5085, which meets our criteria. Let us see subsection B. The digits are 5, 4, 1 and 2. So the largest number with this digits is 5421, the smallest number is 1245. The difference is 4176. Obviously, this difference is less than 5085. Therefore, 4176 is 5085. Let us see subsection C and D now. C and D. Let us take the digits as 8, 9, 1, and 2. So, the, the largest number with this one is 9821. The smallest number is 1,281. Therefore, the sum is 11,102. So, this is greater than 9,779. Let us take this digits as 5, 4, 1 and 2. The largest number is 5,421. The smallest number is 1,245. The sum is 6,663. And 6,663. 66 is less than 9,779. Let us see question number 2. What is the sum of the smallest and largest 5 digit polyndromes? What is the difference? First we will take this case one way. 5 digit polyndromes are the different digits. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So the largest polyndrome with this number is this one is with the different digits is 9, 8, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, the sum of this with the smallest 5 digits is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And this addition of this largest one is 9, 8, 7, 8, 9. Means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Means here 
one lakh eleven thousand one hundred ten. The difference between the smallest, largest and the smallest is eight six four eighty four. So this is this palindrome of the same digit. Let us take this case two. When this largest five digit number of the same digits, so the largest one is ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. The smallest five digit number palindrome is with the same digits is eleven thousand one hundred eleven. So addition of these digits will give us one lakh eleven thousand one hundred ten. The difference between this largest and the smallest one is it gives eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight. So this is this palindrome of the same digit. Figure it out. Third question. The time now is ten one. How many minutes until the clock shows the next palindrome is? What about one after this? If the time is ten one, next palindrome number time is eleven eleven. Hence, the difference between this eleven eleven and ten one is seventy minutes because eleven hours eleven minutes to ten hour one minute. Eleven hours to ten hours is sixty minutes, and eleven minutes to one minute is ten minutes. So sixty minutes plus ten minutes is seventy minutes. Let us consider the next palindrome time after eleven eleven. After eleven eleven, what is this solved? Twenty one is this next palindrome time. What is the difference between this is twelve hundred twelve twenty one minus eleven eleven? So time difference between twelve hours and eleven hours is one hour. And twenty-one minutes and eleven minutes is ten minutes, so the total is seventy minutes. Let us see question number four. How many rounds does the number five thousand six hundred eighty takes to reach the Capricorn constant? We know this Capricorn constant now. Six thousand one seventy-four is this Capricorn. Let us see how many rounds does it take. Let us take first of this first of the given number is. Five six eight three. So the largest is eight six five three. The smallest number is three five six eight. The difference is five thousand eight. So this is not a Capricorn constant. Let us go to the second round. So now the number is five thousand eight five. The largest is eight five five zero. The smallest is zero five five eight. So the difference is seven nine nine two. This is also not a Capricorn constant. Let us go to third round. The number is now. Seven nine nine two. The largest number is nine nine seven two. The smallest number is two seven nine nine two. The difference is seven one seven three. This is not a Capricorn constant. Let us go to the fourth row. Seven one seven three. Largest number is seven seven three one. The smallest number is one three seven seven. So the difference is six three five four. This is also not a Capricorn constant. Let us go to fifth row. Six three five four. The largest number is six five four three. The smallest number is three four five six. So the difference is three zero eight seven. Here, so this three zero eight seven will be considered the largest number is eight seven three zero. Smallest number is zero seven three eight. The difference is eight three five two. This is also not a Capricorn constant. Let us continue this to the seventh round. So eight three five two. The largest number is eight three five two. Eight five three two. The smallest number is two three five eight. So therefore, the difference is six one seven four. This is Capricorn constant. Once we get Capricorn constant, after repeating this again, we'll get the same six one seven four. See six one seven four. The largest number with the Capricorn constant is seven six four one. The smallest number with the Capricorn number is one four six seven. So the difference will again will come as this Capricorn number. So we need. Seven rounds for this one to make capital constant. Thank you.